Hi everyone, this is Dr. G. V. R. Shashi Rao, Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. So we are discussing about uh, solid mechanics and material subject. So in this subject, uh, already we have uh, discussed about uh, uh, simple stresses and strains and uh, uh, how to draw the shear course and uh, bending moment diagrams and uh, also we have discussed the bending stresses. And previous session, we have discussed about the distribution of uh, shearing stresses in various sections. But in this, uh, there are uh, four or five sections are there, rectangular section, circular section and uh, the triangular section, high section and T section. So mainly uh, these are the important uh, uh, sections. But in previous session, we have discussed about uh, the distribution of shearing stress in the rectangular section, circular section and then the triangular section also completed. But in this session, so today I want to discuss about the shearing stress distribution. So what is this size section? So how to calculate the shear stress and uh, what is the diagram for shear distribution in high section? We will see. So at the end of the course, the student should be able to understand the simple bending theory and then also analyze the, the theory of simple bending, illustrating the distribution of uh, bending stresses across the section beams under loading. So in this, uh, uh, after completion of this module, the student should be able to uh, analyze all these things, the simple bending, of, uh, simple bending and then uh, the distribution of shear stresses in various sections. So that's why, so you should know the uh, outcome of this module before starting the topic. So first we will see introduction part, distribution of shearing stress. So we have obtained a relation which helps us in uh, determining the value of shear stress at any section on a beam, already we have seen in previous session. Now we will start study the distribution of the shear stress along the depth of the beam. So it may be any rectangular section or a triangular or high section. For doing so, we shall calculate the intensity of shear stress at important sections of a beam and then sketch a shear stress diagram. Such a, such a diagram helps us in obtaining the value of uh, shear stress at any section along the depth of the beam. So now we shall discuss the distribution of shear stress over the following sections. Already we have discussed about uh, rectangular section and uh, circular section and triangular section. So that, uh, that diagram, such a diagram helps us to obtain the value of the shear stress at any section, so along the depth of the beam. See here uh, the types of uh, sections are rectangular section, triangular section, circular sections and uh, high section. So in this uh, uh, T section. So in this already we have completed these uh, three. In the previous session already we have uh, learned the rectangle section, the triangular section and circular section. In this we will see the high section and uh, T section. So distribution of shearing stress over and high section. First you see the high section. So that the uh, high section is uh, drawn uh, shown in this uh, figure. This is B is the the width of the I, and uh, the height of the section is D. And uh, the, the, this actually these two are called as flanges. This center portion is called as web. So the flange thickness and uh, that is uh, T and then uh, the width of the plane is B and the dimensions of the web is uh, B and then uh, small d, the height of the web is small d. The total I section depth is capital D. See in this section shown this, uh, this is the shear stress distribution in this uh, I section. So the maximum shear stress obtained at this point, this is shear max. So how it will happen, uh, we will see, discuss here. So consider a beam of uh, an I section as shown in figure. 
let be vowel width of the section capital b and small d vowel depth of the section so the b is the vowel width of the section capital b and small d is the vowel depth of the section and the small d is depth of the web and then uh, small b is thickness of the web so we know that the shear stress on a layer jk at a distance y from the neutral axis so already have taken uh, one uh, small portion section already you know so the jk at a distance of y uh, from its uh, neutral axis so uh, already we have derived the shear stress is equal to f into a into y bar by ib so the dimensions are taken the overall width of the section b and the d and the depth of the web and uh, small b thickness of the web as shown in figure so now we shall discuss about two important cases what are they one is when the y is greater than db2 when y is less than db2 so what is this y the distance of a uh, small elemental cross section is uh, distance of the cross section from its neutral axis so that is the y if greater than db2 the D, jk you know that is at this uh, y point is greater than db2 so how how to draw the shear stress distribution when y is less than db2 how to draw the shear, shear stress distribution shear stress distribution we will see here the distribution of shearing stress over i section shown in this figure if y is greater than db2 so this is neutral axis already you know so that is uh, distance is the height is db2 and uh, the web portion uh, the plane portion db2 and this is a small elemental uh, area jk width b and a small b is the width of the Well, so it means that y lies in the flex as shown in figure. In this case, the shaded area of the flex, that area is b into d by two minus y. So the area of or the shaded area, the jk portion, area is width. multiply with height what is the height of this uh, this portion that is d by 2 minus y d by 2 minus y okay so now the y bar is y plus half of the distance that is d by 2 into d by 2 minus y so now substituting these values of a and y from the above equations in our original equation of shear force that is shear force is equal to force multiply with a into y bar by ib so it means here substitute the a value area and y bar value and uh, i into b so i into b i is the moment of inertia for rectangular section already you know for i is equal to bd cube by 2 so we will uh, this, uh, that uh, this uh, i value substitute in later okay f by 2i in the after simplification say first you substitute b into d by 2 minus y 
into y plus half into d by 2 minus y by b. So, there by 2a into d square by 4 minus y square. So, thus we see that the shear stress increases as y decreases. We also see that the variation of shear stress with respect to y is a parabolic curve. It's already shown in, uh, in this diagram. It is a parabolic curve. See, at the upper edge of the planes, where y is equal to d by 2, shear stress is 0. And then, the lower edge y is equal to d by 2, the shear stress is calculated like this. f by 2a into, so what is the equation f by 2a into d square by 4 minus y square. So, d square by 4 minus d by 2 whole square. So, now, Calculate f by 8i into d square minus small d square. So, we have calculated the shear stress when, where the y is equal to d by 2, the greater than, the y value is uh, greater than the d by 2. So, now if y is less than d by 2, it means the y value lies in the web as shown in phase. <coughs> so, in this case, the value of a y for the planes, so when y is less than d by 2, so this is neutral axis and uh, the y and this, this is uh, small uh, area, the y lies coincides with the neutral axis. For this case, the y a y is equal to b into d by 2 minus d by 2 multiply with d by 2. So, this is area d by 2 minus uh, small d by 2, the area of this uh, portion and then y is d by 2 plus half of the distance d by 2 minus d by 2, small d by 2. So, now simplify this one, after simplification, so we will get capital B into small d, capital D square minus small d square by 8. So, then uh, and the value of a y for the web above j k that is uh, a y that is the value of a y uh, a y for the web above j k portion. So, now substitute Above the JK, uh, the, for the above the for the above web above the JK, that is value is small b into d by two minus y area into y y is y plus for the that for that uh, web portion y plus half into d by two minus y. So, now simplify this equation b into d by 2 minus y into 1 by 2 d by 2 plus y. So, finally, we will get b by 2 into d square by 4 minus y square. So, total a y bar, the previously you have calculated for, uh, for this uh, j k portion. So, what is the value? f by 8 i sorry b into d square minus capital d square minus d square by 8 
plus plus this uh, calculated uh, value b by t into d square minus 4 by 4 minus y square. This is the total uh, a y bar. Now substituting the, the value of a y a y bar from the above equation in our original equation of shear stress on the layer at a distance y from the neutral axis. So this is original uh, shear stress equation. Shear stress is equal to force multiplied with a y bar by i b. So now substitute force multiplied with the area is b into capital D square minus small d square by 8 plus b by 2 to d square by 4 minus y square by ib. So already we have calculated a by bar the total uh, a by by ib. So now take common a by ib outside and write the equation like this a by ib into b into capital D square minus small d square by 8 plus b by 2 into d square by 4 minus y square. So thus we see that in the web also the shear stress increases as y decreases. We also see that the variation of uh, shear stress with respect to y in the web also is a parabolic curve. So at a neutral axis y is equal to 0 the shear stress is maximum. So now calculate the maximum shear stress. So the shear stress uh, equation shear maximum is equal to a by i b into b by 8 into capital D square minus small d square plus uh, small b small d whole square by 8. So already uh, calculated in, uh, in this uh, equation. So here substitute y is equal to 0. So that's why I write down this equation at a nodal axis the d square minus small d square v8 plus v by 2 into d square by 4. So that is v d square by 8. So you can write you can write the equation v d square v8. Now the shear stress at the junction of the top of the web and bottom of the place at the top of the web and the bottom of the flange. So this is flange and uh, web. So the web portion and uh, flange. So the below the top of the web and uh, below the flange. So, what is the shear stress at this uh, portion? So, now the substituting the y value at the neutral axis, y is equal to 0 already substituted, but above and below, this is y, y is equal to d by 2. Now, substitute y is equal to d by 2. So, in previous equation, in this equation, f by ib. So now a by i b into b into d square minus small d square by 8 plus b by 2 d square by 4 minus the y is equal to d by 2. So d square by 4. So 0. So now we will get b by a by 8 8 i into small b by capital B by small b into d square minus. So here, yeah, remember, we see that the shear stress at the junction of the top of the web and the bottom of the flange is different from both the cases. So we also see that the shear stress changes abruptly from Fy 8i capital D square minus small d square to Fy 8i 
into capital B by small b into d square minus uh, small d square. Capital D square minus small d square. See in this the by eta into capital B by small b into d square minus d square. But in this the the first one is by eta when y is equal to zero. I have written a equation like this. So in this case, uh, up by eta into capital D square and small d square. The changes, the shear stress changes from this value to this value. Thus, the shear stress at this junction suddenly increases by capital B by small b times, as shown in figure. So if the I section is symmetrical. The shear stress distribution diagram will also be symmetric. So in this diagram, so here the suddenly increases at this uh, portion increases by b by capital B by b small b times as shown in figure. What is the diagram here? So already shown in this uh, first slide, shear stress diagram. See in this. So at this up to here. This web portion, but this flange, top flange, and the bottom flange. Web portion. The shear stress it suddenly changes from uh, from flange to web. Here also. Same. So that if symmetrical, the shear stress also same shear stress distribution also symmetrical. This is a symmetrical section. So at uh, at the nodal axis, here we have calculated shear stress uh, distribution at uh, y is equal to zero. At this portion, we have calculated. Uh, With y is equal to d by two. So clearly, you can see the sudden changes, so the abrupt changes in their uh, shear stress distribution in uh, uh, I section. Here, two cases also we have seen. The y is greater than uh, d by two, and uh, when y is less than d by two. So what is the difference uh, between the shear stress distribution? See that the shear stress increases as uh, y decreases. We the variation of uh, shear stress with respect to y is a parabolic curve. So already we have derived, and then uh, y is less than d by two. Also we have seen. See finally, there are important points regarding this. Uh, Shear stress distribution in I section. Whatever occurs, the shear stress at the junction of the top of the web and the bottom of the flange is different from both the cases. At this uh, top portion and web at this area. Also, see that the shear stress changes from uh, this uh, f by eta i capital D square minus small d square to capital f by eta i into capital B by small b into d square minus d square. So this means the shear stress at this junction suddenly increases by uh, capital B by, by small b times. So up to here, the shear stress is like this. But the shear stress increases uh, at this uh, portion. This is web portion. The shear maximum will occur at web portion in the uh, I section. So that's why these sections are gives more strength. So if the I section is symmetrical, the shear stress distribution diagram also be symmetrical. If not uh, symmetrical. The shear stress is not in symmetry, not in uh, symmetrical. So, so in x-axis, so a symmetrical object. 
the dimensions are with respect to x axis so one and the second one they both are symmetrical the shear stress also uh, distribution also symmetric if not symmetrical suppose the shear stress are also not in symmetrical nature so this is the important uh, uh, point uh, regarding uh, the size section shear, uh, distribution of shear stress so for this ppt have taken uh, references as ramamrutham the title of the book is strength of materials and rk rasput the title of the book is strength of materials R.K. Bansal, the textbook of uh, strength of material, and R.S. Kurmi and Gutta, the strength of material, and the Shand and the Co. the public publications. These are the references I have taken for this uh, PPT. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.